And Coach, welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. What was it like in Southampton watching your 19-year-old prodigy go to work against the best players in the world? Well, it, uh, as you can imagine, you know, it's the U.S. Open. It's what everybody shoots for. And Rent uh, having a chance to be there was, uh, you know, right at home. Obviously, he, uh, you know, he's playing with the big boys, but it was fun, it was fun to watch him because his game's starting to come around, and he's really playing well. And he just had a couple of loose shots yesterday, and that's uh, that's why he shot uh, ten over par, I think. Ten over par isn't that bad, considering that uh, just a handful of guys shot under. Um, give us an idea of of what. And we're told that Rhett Rasmussen just birdied, uh, I think, three. Um, awesome. So he's coming on onto the front nine after starting on the back, which is great. But give us an idea of, of the conditions and kind of the pressure uh, that is involved in playing as an amateur in a major. Well, it's, there's definitely plenty of pressure. And you're standing out there on the driving range, and you got the guy that likes of uh, Tiger Woods and Dustin Johnson and warming up next to you or – fairly close and you know it's easy to get your uh the stars in your eyes and wondering wow do i have to do this but Rhett, you know in my opinion he handled it very well the kid has plenty of experience he knows how to play golf and uh he can find a way to shoot scores and and he did that yesterday he just like i said he had a couple of loose shots and he had to pay the the, the price and then you know he had two or three three putts that really killed him or he would have shot 74 75 and he's very capable of that as he's doing today bruce brockbank the head golf coach at byu with us on byu sports nation how does an experience like this at the u.s open benefit ret next season back at byu anytime you have a chance to play against the best players in the world. It's just a wonderful education process for him. You know, when I, I texted him when I took off last night to get back, I said, Rhett, great job today. I know you're disappointed, but I said, the way you hung in there, those five or six pars in the middle of the round when it could have really gone south were just so strong. And his text back to me was, Coach, I got a lot to learn, but what a great experience. And so, you know, he is he's taking it all in for sure. When you're two shots behind Tiger, uh, even though it's round two, you're still feeling good, even if it's not, uh, you know, version 1.0 of Tiger, but very cool for him. It's been a banner year for uh, your program, the men's golf team, uh, getting the at-large into the NCAA uh, championship, uh, the regional, and then you get into the championships, and Patrick Fishburne uh, continues on as an individual. Now Rhett Rasmussen is playing in the U.S. Open. What's it like for you to see the program progress in the way it has? Well, you know, it's uh, Coach Miller and myself, we've been traveling around the country trying to get these kids to come and play golf at BYU, and, and uh, we're seeing the fruits of our labors. But, you know, that's a little piece to a big puzzle. And, uh, you know, Patrick Fishburne, Rhett Rasmus, and Peter Quest, uh, all the guys, Spencer Dunaway, Kelton Hirsch, the kids that have been in the program, are, they, they've got a taste of this now, and they know what the expectation is expectations are but knowing about it you know thinking about it's one thing but being there now they know what they've got to do and so i'm hoping that every one of the guys if we want to do it again next year they're going to have to up their commitment to uh, their individual practice in the summer what is the next step for byu golf because you as jerem just pointed out and as you just touched on a lot of good things have happened recently so what is the next step Somebody fill in for a guy that shoots seventy every time in Fishburn. You know, <laughs> <We're> gonna, <laughs> I mean, I hate to, I hate to. He, the, the kid. You know, Steve Fishburn and I were talking about it the other day. I think his last twenty six college tournaments, he's averaged seventy or better. Good grief! Woo! And uh, let me tell you what that. Anytime you have an All American, now I don't know. They haven't made the announcement yet, but I think Patrick will be on one of those teams, and he should be. But uh, trying to replace an All-American is always a challenge. But you've mentioned two names, and obviously, Rhett, that's his goal, Peter's goal. And the guy, kids on the team, every one of them know what it takes. And um, you got to get after it because everybody in the country, uh, there's so many great programs, and you and you got to be hungry, and uh, you got to be able to clean up some of the areas that uh, you don't do very well and see if you can't, and then make more putts, and, and we'll have another shot. 
Is Patrick Fishburne the next BYU guy to make it on the PGA Tour? I sure hope so. He's got all the tools. Uh, you know, some kids can get it done really quick. Some kids it takes a little while, but I can tell you what, that kid has really improved and you know, he's one of the top 25 players in the country, in my opinion, and uh, even better than that. But we'll leave that between us. Bruce, great to talk to you. Uh, we know it's been a crazy turnaround for you coming back from New York, and you got to get back for camps and whatnot. So we wish you the best of luck with that. But uh, as always, we appreciate the time. Thank you. Appreciate it.